Hello, my name is Minister Paul. I'm in the Northern California area, north of Sacramento. And uh, it's December 23rd, 2017. And it's approximately 12.06 p.m. where I'm at Pacific Standard Time. You know, the Bible I've studied my whole life says that to whom much is given, much is required. And our amazing God, our amazing God has showed me so many things because I choose to submit my life to him and obey him. And so my part is obediently sharing this stuff. There's a requirement upon my life to share this stuff. I apologize for the brightness in the background. I can't see it, but you can. I have these. It's that time of the day where the sun is in that area and I have the, the shutters closed as tight as they get. So what I wanna show you isn't in the box where I'm talking, it's on the larger screen. So I do apologize for that. I ask everybody watching this video to hit the like button or share this somewhere like on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook, you know, share this because this is gonna be a very important message and I'm doing my part for God. I do this all for God. Amen. So let's get to this message. You're looking at a video on the screen right here from November 5th, 2014. That's when it uploaded to the YouTube server. But the original video was taken on October 13th, 2014. So that's approximately three years ago. And it was exactly 4.30 a.m., 0430 Pacific Standard Time. God told me to go outside and look east. I did, and I saw a huge bright red shape-shifting uh, shape cloud. And I brought my cell phone with me, and I, I took video of this bright red, what I continued to call after that moment a red blob, because I had no other way to describe it. I uploaded this video, I mention it from time to time, maybe once or twice a year since then, but it's nagged at me. And it's nagged at me that I saw something. I was allowed to see something in the spiritual realm. And some big people, they may laugh in, in misunderstanding or lack of knowledge, but this is proven to be true over a five year period on this channel with 100% verification and accuracy, right down to exact areas. So I understand not understanding and I understand laughing, but you're gonna see that this message is going to impact many and it is going to come to pass. So at that time, uh, there will be no more laughing over this. Uh, so let me continue to talk about what we're discussing here. So I have documented, I'm going to show you a picture of what I saw because I, it's 4.30 and this is basically what happened. It's 4.30 in the morning. God says, I want you to wake up and go in the backyard and look to the east. And this is not the first time he's done this in my life in this same house where I've lived 12 years where it has produced something that only God could produce. It's not the first time. And it's time, it's time for this information to come out. And so I'm out there and I see this object and I'm literally stunned and awed because what I saw, I've never seen ever. And uh, to, my, to my best of my knowledge, it was abnormal, unusual, even rare, or, or didn't exist at all except that I, I got video of it. Ask yourself, why was I even back there at 4.30 in the morning with a, with a camera to log this? I'm gonna explain what I'd like to come out of this message here. So here's the, uh, here's the date that it hit YouTube. Here's the date it was recorded. Here is, uh, I have documented this uh, in, in verbally, in writing, and uh, audibly and video, all of that for almost four years. Now, here's the original down here on my desktop. 
it's in the original format and I want I, what my job is here of you know what's required of me part my side of it is to get this original video into the hands of the right person that can analyze this and prove that God showed someone on earth something in advance that didn't exist the time it was seen but will exist in 2018 it didn't exist down here in in this atmosphere and yet I was allowed to see it okay and someone else may have seen it out there too this is gonna God's gonna bring all of this together it's uh, it's 12 11 p.m. so this is the original file in high def it's 152 megabyte it's 1 minute and 16 seconds and it's in 1080p I'm going to slow this down and I'm going to show you this red cloud 136 it starts at about the 7 second mark and so we'll go there these objects right here are a couple street lights out there these three red dots there are a couple street lights out there and I do believe it's in slow down motion so it will first appear when these dots move away you will see it up above that white dot right here in this area I'll pause the video it appears I'm not going to play this whole video I'm trying to keep this shorter but it appears literally four or five times in this one video. Let's go to the 136. Where you're going to be looking is right here in the center. See it right here? 90% of the people I've showed this video to in the past said they can't see it. But when you're sitting right here, 100% of the people looking at what I'm showing you right now do see it. That's why I want someone to look at the original right in front of them, not in a second format after the processing of YouTube. So if you look right here, see where the, see where the, the uh, 1 minute and 37 second mark is and the red circle, the thermometer indicator for time, right above it forms this red gas cloud and it's and then there's two sections of it here and here it should look like a pair of lungs down here to the three down here to the three minute and 25 mark and going up you should see red from here all the way to here and here and it will rise you see it just watch right here you see it here and here's the right low, red low, right low. Again, it shows again at the end even brighter than that, but we're going to be discussing this for a while, so let me put the biggest image capture. I want to keep that up. Now, what God has told me yesterday, here it comes again, rising up. Here. We're from the red line up in here. What, what, what God has told me now is that this is an event that's going to happen in 2018 that's being tracked by scientists and experts for a long time. And God, God is going to reveal why this is happening and what it means. And it's going to be a major event. It's going to be a major event. When, when this happens, and I'm going to show you a whole bunch of scientific documents and pictures, it's not going to happen immediately. The knowledge that I've received is that when you, when you look up and see this, for those who are able to see this event happen, it doesn't mean I'm not saying here as a messenger of God, like everybody vanishes, people vanish, the earth shakes. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that God is going to reveal this event to me. I'm going to share it with people 
exactly why God is allowing this and why he showed it in advance four years ago. And then you're going to understand so much and God is going to be glorified. And it's, it's a sign. It's a sign from God of the sign of the times. Let me continue getting all that background out. If you go to, if you go to Google search and you search this M87, this is a, uh, I want to show you some images and do side by side. The details that I've journaled, audio, uh, video, handwriting, also include, I've never heard of this M87 event until yesterday. They, they, even the number eight and seven is included in my journal, both on the internet and on a, a written journal. So I want to show you some images side by side. So you see the red. Now keep in mind, when I originally saw this, when I went outside obeying God at 4.30 in the morning and looking in the precise area he told me to look, it would cover this whole entire screen. It would literally cover like a quarter of the, the eastern sky and it was moving. It had shapes and can, it could change shapes um, and it was moving south from my location and it was huge. So just because it looks small right here, you're only looking at the part that somehow through God, my camera was able to catch in complete darkness. It was 100% was darkness out here where I live. There's zero light pollution and it still caught that part. But when you view the original, you're going to see what a massive event God really allowed me to see in advance. And you're going to be amazed and you're going to receive knowledge as I do. Here's an image of this event. Here's another image. And here's another image. I want to make these big if I can. This is uh, from Wikimedia file M87, a giant galaxy's violent past comes into focus. A giant elliptical galaxy. So this is one image. This has been taken, from what I understand, a very a new telescope. This also, same image. And I'm going to show you the telescope too. And this one, it, it's simply amazing. Now, to understand that I was told to go out and look at this. Matter of fact, the, the date right here, it says four, the minute, the video is four minutes and 20 sec, 29 seconds long, like April 29th. And I believe that, well, I know that this was seen by this telescope in April, sometime around that day. But three years later, in, or four years later, in, in 2016, 17 is when it was seen. This video was from three years prior to a massive telescope even seeing it, and I saw it with the naked eye. We'll move to this article. In 2018, we will see a black hole for the first time ever. Please listen to me. I'm going to put a link to this article, but what they are, what they are calling this event that's going to happen in 2018 is the M87, the M87 as shown, the, the M87, this M87, that was captured with gas clouds around them in this is one of the persons I'd like to talk to right here, this Monica. I can't pronounce her last name. I saw her talking about this on Twitter on September 14, 2007. So I just want you to, to see some text. I don't, this is not the, see here, 
This is not the whole explanation. There will be follow-up videos on this event, and God is going to do amazing things. It will happen. See, it says, the project to capture Sagittarius A began in April of this year. And here's some more images. Radio telescopes all over the world were synchronized and pointed towards the center of the Milky Way. Combined, they produced an Earth-sized telescope capable of incredible resolution over immense distances. So that's what happened in April of 2017. And they they have this, it looks like it's called a, can someone help me on this? A ethyl, a, ethyl, a telescope, a telescope expects to find in 2018 a silhouette in the glow of radiation at the center of the Milky Way galaxy. Now understand, this is what's amazing. The images they're showing here on these news articles and stuff are simulations. What I saw was not a simulation. They can only show you simulations. This is uh, regarding the Sagittarius A and all of these telescopes working together 26,000 light years away. And understand there's a time differential when you get into this uh, time. And it's, it's basically a, a simulation. But that, let me tell you something, that's what I saw. That is what I saw. That's what I saw. Remember the red bar? Remember it comes up? And remember 429... See, there it is. That's what I saw. And this is what they simulated. I'm telling you, with my naked eye, I saw this. What they can only simulate, God allowed a man to see. You understand how powerful that is? The difference in the time and space. So I'll let others study this and be an expert. This is going to be called, in, in, it's going to be in 2018. I don't know the exact date. They said this is, this is done once a year since 2016, as I understand it. And it's at the Event Horizon Telescope, maybe that's where they get the word of the telescope from with the EH. Um, but I'm not an expert on this. But I'm going to understand things in a way that scientists can't. And we're going to work together. It'll happen. I saw that. And, and keep in mind, I'm trying to get some type of explanation of what it is because I certainly don't know what they're claiming it is. It's, it, it's, it's regarding a black hole that's going to open and it's going to be seen in 2018. Just right here. Fountains of hot gas erupting from a beastly black hole in the heart of a large galaxy known to radio astronomers as Hercules A. While astronomers have long seen the fallout of the presence of black holes on the stars and gas clouds around them, none have actually stared directly into its abyss. So for the first time, the event horizon of a black hole proving beyond any last vestige of doubt that Einstein's interstellar monsters are real and here's what they look like. I have no idea what they're talking about, but God is going to reveal what this event means, why, why I saw it, why they're looking at it, and why it's going to be seen in 2018. First time ever. And it's tied to Bible prophecy. What you're looking at right here is some images of uh, gas because gas is involved in, oh, this is a black hole, but gas like this right here is involved in this event horizon. And you can see pictures of it. It's amazing for me to sit here, look, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, skips to 16. 
And, and I guess, as I understand it, a gas cloud named G2 uh, is about to collide with Sagittarius A. And again, this is a simulation. In March or April, a gas cloud that is hurtling toward the center of the Milky Way is expected to collide with Sagittarius A. So this was in 2014. So they, this has been going on a while. From 11, 12, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, they got 5 years here. 17 was 6, 2018, would that make 8? Or 7? I'm going to need a lot of help with this. Here's some more images. Gas cloud G2 in the galactic center is what I'm using for a search. And again, I'm showing images of something this man saw. I saw this. God told me at 4.30 in the morning to go out in my backyard and he showed me this. Now he has told me that this event horizon, he has ordained this. It was preordained. He has ordained and allowed this to happen. For those still watching, I'm telling you, this is going to be an amazing journey for me and for all of us, because I'm gonna share everything there is on YouTube as it's revealed as to what exactly is gonna happen in 2018, not only that, and why. It will happen. I was looking at these type of areas. Now this is an amazing picture. Anybody even know this existed? They say that this current site, or this site right here has been shut down, but man, look at this. This is like stuff of the future. There's one, there's one of these things like this in Hawaii. There's one in Arizona. Um, from what I understand from this one that you're looking at right here, this is the site of the Event Horizon Telescope. So the telescope that will be used, this will be the page to follow, and I'll put a link. If you, if you go back, this is locations that I found from the April 2017 this year, see them over here on the map. They're located kind of around the world and there happened to be one right in California. It's interesting, yeah, that's what the EHT is, the telescope. It's interesting because it doesn't say exactly where this was in California up at, other than, you know, up in some eastern hills of Southern California. And I understand the security as to why I do. But I just wanted to give some visuals of what's really going on here. That was called karma. So now watch this. According to this, KARMA stands for Combined Array for Research in Millimeter Wave Astronomy. According to this, what I showed you in California was uh, finished on April 3rd, 2015. But I saw this thing because I obeyed God. I saw this long before that. And it turns out, I'm going to tell you, Looks like some other people saw it too. They were looking for it. I didn't, but the thing is, I didn't have all this equipment, all this money, all this these satellites and telescopes. All I had was God. And that was all I needed. So this was saying decommissioning uh, was complete. The equipment has been removed from all the buildings, antenna removal, and there's videos on the movies and so. But I believe, you know, that this, this karma thing and, and other things like it are a uh, big pine call for me. I, I believe there's still other ones out there still looking. Prophetically, God has shown me through in my prayer time some prophetic videos I've made on this exact event. I can show you in text. So... May 24th, 2016, and there's another one uh, on May 28th, 2016, that God was showing me in prayer inside my house, not outside, that this was all going to happen. You'll see my notes here. Again, I have a written journal that I've kind of cut apart right here, where I said, 
day 23 and 24 of my prayer, I heard Jesus say, do you believe your sins are forgiven, quote? And I said, yes, Lord. And then he said, quote, then forget not my benefits, bind them to your heart and mind. And I heard spiritual environments are shifting. That's a key part of it. Spiritual environments are shifting. Now this was spoken to me after I'd already seen this and apparently they had seen this and they're still watching it. I saw a red circle descending to a green earth and then I saw a dark hole in the sun and I heard Babylon, Babylonian Empire and I saw seven continents. I then saw an amber pin draw a line in the sand and I heard urgent, urgent, urgent. And then I saw 12 kings bowing before one king. And that one king is Jesus. So, just for further evidence, this is a picture, a thumbnail of the seven continents I've seen right here. And in this one, it's also in writing. It says, uh, it says, I will give you an answer that no man can dispute. And this answer that he's going to give me is in regard to what he showed me when he called me out in the backyard at 430 of the morning bag, you know. And he's going to give me the strength to, to do all this and connect with people. And uh, many lives will turn to turn to Jesus Christ because of this. He said, trust me, I will give you an answer that no man can dispute. The answer I'm going to receive regarding this event horizon and the eastern sky and that black hole and why I was allowed to see it four years in advance is, is it, no person, no scientist, no human being will be able to dispute the wisdom and revelation God gives me concerning it. It will happen. He said, a battle rages. And then there's scripture, and there's more. There was more written down. And he said, quote, there is work to be done, end quote. So into 2018, I'm going to continue obeying God. And just in the same fashion, he said, Paul, I want you to go out in the backyard at 4.30 in the morning when I was sleeping, and I want you to, I'm going to show you something that they're going to be talking about four years later, and they're going to wonder what it is, and they're going to have all these telescopes lined up on it. He said, but I'm going to tell you what and why. And so he wants me to get with experts, and if he wills it, it will happen. It can't be stopped. Again, showing past and previous dates of something that is going to happen in 2018. I'd like to put out a call for help here to get this done. Um, there was four or five people, because I run an online ministry with the service. There was four or five people that had set up to give a, a very small amount to continue this ministry running, you know, for basic things. And for some reason, PayPal... They'd set it to, they'd set it to repeat. So in other words, like you could set up ten dollars, I think it was, and you could have that repeat every month, and it would go towards our our internet and equipment and stuff like that, you know, and outreach. Well, now we kind of need it for travel and etc. On whatever door opens on this mission that I'm on, I'm calling this a mission. Um, but PayPal just sent it once, and then now I get an email once a month and it says we couldn't process this payment rejected couldn't process this payment canceled on every single i think there was four or five people the volunteered to give once a month all of them were canceled by paypal and i have no idea so i would not set up a recurring payment but if you can help i have a paypal i wouldn't i wouldn't use my website i'm not sure if i should put that in here i don't know if that's working I can try. I mean, it seems to work one day and not the next. So in other words, there's this hindrance of bringing even the smallest amount of donations into this ministry. And you know why? Because what's going to be revealed 
<laughs> that's why, because what's going to be revealed, a lot of people don't want it to be known. That's all I'm going to say on that. Here's the email address. You could use it, PayPal. A lot of people don't like PayPal. My regular PayPal is working. It just don't work as a monthly thing. Um, and right now, I'm not receiving any offerings at all, which is, is fine by me because I haven't asked. But I'm asking now. This is my home address. Make it make a check or buddy order out to Paul Maxon. All of this is going to go into this mission and bringing our live stream service back every Saturday at 7 p.m. starting a week from today on 1230. God is going to be showing us so many things. And we're going to meet and he's going to strengthen us. He's already given me one word that I'm working on right now for next Saturday. They're going to continue. The, the, uh, the health attack that came against me. I was praying this morning for those that are regular followers of these channels. God said, that was spiritual. Some things happened at the doctor yesterday, a specialist. And some things happened in my sleep last night. That could only be spiritual. And I realized I'm in a war. And God said, remember, you have been called to war. And I will use you as a battle ram. That's what God told me. And this, as I began to understand that I have power and authority over the spiritual warfare that has come against me and all of us, it is losing its strength and power and I'm being healed by God himself and Jesus, his stripes, I'm being healed. If you'd like to help me in this matter, I'm really asking for your help. Um, my health is going to continue to get better and better. One of the dream, I had three dreams last night, and I'll only share one because they were nothing good at all. <clears throat> They're from the enemy. But in one of them, I was being persecuted and put under arrest and beaten. And no charge had been brought against me. And there was like 10 people, and they're all yelling at me. They were going to stone me. They were going to arrest me, and they were going to kill me. And, and finally, I said, you have to tell me why I'm being arrested. And one guy said something, and this, this is what my answer to him. I said, you mean you're going to arrest and kill me for using the authority of Jesus? It was a dream, but it's symbolic. I was going to be arrested and killed for using the authority of Jesus Christ. And I was so concerned about that dream, man, as God is my witness in the other two dreams and what the, the enemy is trying to attack with my health. And God raised me up and he said, I have a mission for you. I have a mission for you, Paul. You ain't going nowhere. No one can snatch you from my hand. No one can snatch you from my hand. I, he said, I'm going to show you great and mighty things that are going to come to pass. And the enemy is going to be defeated and all the world will see it. That's why I continue to praise and that's why I continue to lift my weak hand up in the air to just say, I trust you, Jesus. This Jesus, you know, this mission is done and completed. There's gonna, I'm talking millions of people will turn to Jesus. And God will get all the glory and I will have been just an obedient messenger. God bless you. Shalom. Sure.